and I'll take you past Harold Pinter's place. Hi everyone, I'm Dan at the seaside. I'm actually at Worthing because I've come to see Richard Vogue's The Bald Explorer. Hello Mark! Hello, Richard. I like we've been with him for a couple of hours already, but you yeah. wouldn't believe it. No, I didn't realise you were here. No, and Richard very kindly took me down to the uh, seaside because I really wanted to see the sea, wanted to smell the, uh, the beach, uh, the, the birds, seaweed, the seaweed, the bird poop. <laughs> no, um, the salt, the, the beautiful salt. salt. Uh, you're salt. very lucky today, let me just tell you, because the sea is very calm. Very calm. It's like a, a tabletop and the visibility is great because on some days you can see or as indeed you can today right as far as the seven sisters mm. wow there's a chap out on a, on a pedal board right out i know i know you can get some amazing views yeah. i've been on a kayak on on here and it's great wow really days before my eye fell out oh yeah, yeah i fell out yeah, it's very nice absolutely gorgeous you've got the wind farms in the distance which Richard is not too fond of um that's the Rampion Wind Farm. The Rampion Wind Farm. Yes, and if anyone's got a big enough chainsaw and a boat, I'm with you. But it's energy saving. Oh, is it? But I see what you mean. That's what blocked the landscape. But I think it's part of the landscape. Well, it is now. Yeah. I mean, slowly you get used to it, but when it went up, it was a bit of an eyesore. Right, okay. This is where we both film one another. <laughs> yeah, we're both doing our YouTube bits. Sad, isn't it? It's very sad. It's funny, I've seen some of these video conferences about all these sort of successful YouTubers, and you see them going around the hotel, all with their cameras, all at the same time, all recording. It's, it's a bizarre sight, very bizarre sight. Just what we're doing. Just what we're doing now, yeah. Because <laughs> we're crazy. Oh, I love it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Tom. This is my favourite part of the pier really because you get away from the, the the main deck and then you're on this deck which is where the old steamships, uh, the paddle steam. Oh, wow. Which camera am I doing this to? Oh your one. Yeah. Did you catch it? No, my dad did. Wow, look at that. And what what will you do with, with that? Will you take We're it? We're gonna put it back. You're gonna put it back. There we go. This is Robert Adams, Hello, Adams who spotted, <laughs> spotted me out doing a bit of filming. You're doing a bit of fishing. So, is that your son? It is, yeah. James. And Grandad. And Grandad. Hello, Grandad. Oh, you're all here. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. <coughs> Are you a worthy local? Uh, thank you. Richard got recognised by a lovely chat. That was fantastic. <laughs> That's it. Brighton over there. There you go. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, gone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's, what, that's what all those little tiny things you can see. Oh, right. It's feisty yeah. little buggers, aren't underneath. they? You see them all running underneath. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was lovely, actually. Yeah, you got recognised. Certainly yeah. got recognised and then had a chat, as you saw. Lovely guy. With um, a local guy who's into fishing. And with his son and his granddad. Yeah, well. Great. what a lovely yeah. thing. And they put them back, so that's really nice. Yeah. It's lovely. Now, I fancy some chips. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, some chips? I'll yeah, some chips. chips. Let's get some chips. Let's get some chips. I'm going to keep running out of it. Mm. That's lovely. I don't think I've been to the south coast, I say actually to the seaside on the south coast for a good few years actually. Oh right. Yeah, I don't I can't actually remember when's the last time I came down to the sea. How long did Oh it... wait a minute, 2016 Bournemouth Bournemouth Beach. How long does it take you to get down from where you are? Uh hour and twenty. Straight down the A24? Yeah. Pretty so straightforward. Simple run then. Simple run. Should come down more often. I think I'm going to be coming down. Yeah. The old yes. I don't need cake, but I'll have tea. Yes. Too sweet. Too much sugar. I know. I'm trying so, to give up cake. Yeah. No. You're like me. I, I hardly yeah, have any sugar in my sugar diet. Now. It's hard because sugar's in everything, but I don't generally don't have that much sugar. No. I know I like my wine. There's sugar, but that's natural sugars. It's the refined sugars I'm keeping. Oh, the I'm refined keeping, yeah. sugars are different. But you know, they are the pure white and deadly. Yeah. Yep. Get it out. Your, get it out your diet. Then occasionally you can treat yourself occasionally. Yes, yes, it's it's I think if you are I mean yes is the answer. Yeah, yes, yes. 
Yes, these people have off days when they're doing, sort of, you know, if you're eating well, don't have off days, just eat well, have a balanced diet, don't beat yourself up about it. No. You know, I fast and all that kind of thing, which I, is a lifestyle choice. Um, get rid of the sugar. Get rid of the sugar. From your tea and coffee. Yes. Because you don't know how much you consume. If you have six, seven cups of tea and coffee with two sugars in it, that's a lot of sugar. Yeah, 10 years ago, I was two sugars in my tea, now I'm none. None. I don't drink that much tea or coffee anyway. No, days. no, very wise. Um, lots of water. Like water is probably the most I drink, yeah. Haven't we? So to get my bearings right, is Little Hampton that way? It is. Yeah. Yeah, Little Hampton and Brighton. Brighton, Hastings, Eastbourne, that way. Yeah. Because right. Brighton's, sorry. Brighton's the nearest seaside town. If I went straight down the M. Uh, M23, that's the, yes, that's the yes. quickest, but this is probably the, the next. Brighton is so busy. Yeah, where do you park? Where you do know. you park? Exactly. It's easy to get the train down, probably. Whereas know. Worthing's just got that, it used to have the retirement colonel sort of syndrome. Yeah. But now there's a bit more of a family vibe mm -hmm. and um, it's just a bit more gentle. Yes, it's very chilled out. Yeah. I really like it. It's very family oriented. I love the hotels along the front, you know. Nice Georgian frontage yeah, hotels. Yeah, Georgian frontage. Where are we going, Richard? The best fish and chip shop in Worthing. Yes, I'm going to take you to what I think is the best fish and chip shop. There is a Harry Ramsden's there, but actually, um, although he's world famous, there's a lovely little Italian one just around the corner, which is far, in my opinion, superior. Right, cool. We can cross. So, Richard, what is this? We are at Vita Takeaway. We're having a nice egg and bacon bun. You're having something else. I'm having sausage, small sausage and chips. Small sausage and chips. I know I live down by the seaside but I don't do this you no. know, often. It's, that's the thing isn't it? When you live next to something you know that you can do it anytime you like. Yeah. And so often you don't. I mean I worked in the West End for five years you know in one of the theatres on Shaftesbury Avenue. I didn't sort of go around all the sites you're going to work. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. It's, well when I lived in Petworth, the, a lovely, is lovely market town in rural Sussex there is Petworth House, very famous house. I lived there for two years. All the time I lived in Petworth, I never went to Petworth yeah. House. And it was yards from where I lived. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. And now I've been there more frequently than uh, than I had when I lived there. Yeah, it's lovely. I'm really liking it. Thank you. Nice, nice seaside there. I'm feeling, I am sort of gone back to my childhood a little bit in the day trips to the seaside, so um, it's been really nice. I need you, to get down to the seaside more often. You get all those other smells like the salt and vinegar from your fish and chips. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to get our sandwiches now. Oh, it looks lovely. Big sausage there, Richard. <laughs> I've got a big sausage. Yeah, and I've got egg and bacon back. Mm. Can have some of that. Just walking back with Richard. and you show me some of the uh, Georgian? Orders? Yeah, these are nice um, Georgian or Regency. Regency, really. yeah. I know I'm not, a, no, I'm not a particularly a Georgian building fan. Regency I like. Right. Um, don't know why that is. <laughs> They've got um, lots of bay windows and um, or bow fronted and these beautiful how I think windows should look. Yeah. The panes broken up. And Hounds on the left is a pretty old pub. The Hare and Hounds. No, I don't, don't say no, that because it's not true. It's not true, is it? No, made that up. It looks quite Got old. that out of Philip Mercer's book. Philip Mercer, I like Philip Mercer. He's a... Uh, what was it the guy on the on the seashore said oh yes i'm from thacom oh yes and then yes. he said i've loved the one about the ghost <laughs> and he's gone looking for the ghost that came from a, a book called philip mercer's tales of old sussex yeah, which, which i um <clears throat> admit it may have made up yeah he did do a video about it it's, it's not i did it's, it's not like it's no, an unknown no. thing but some people still believe it's true <laughs> <clears throat> A school. Uh, a school. Then it became, I don't know what it became, but it eventually became reps, which was a gym, which I did go down and do all my muscle bending stuff in the days of whenever. And now it's flat. I can't remember this, the name of this one. I think it's Holy Trinity or, or something like that. Beautiful church. It's up for sale if you want to buy it. The church is up for sale? Yeah. I don't know how much. It's an astronomical amount. I'm sure, imagine. yeah. It's more than a fiver. So it's not 
consecrated ground anymore or well i imagine it's uh, until it's been sold who sells it i've never heard of a church being for sale or have you know it? no there is a group um part of the the ecclesiastical thing that sells off churches but it's doing it isn't it doesn't have a congregation or no they've been, just been disused for so long. oh i see right that's interesting see i told you i know nothing and I'll take you past Harold Pinter's place. Harold Pinter's place? He wrote one of his plays, I forget which one it was. It wasn't the play that I did, which was The Dumb Waiter. Oh, The Dumb Waiter, yes. If only I'd stop speaking, I'd be dumber than them. A little bit of information, guys. Harold Pinter, 1930 to 2008, playwright, actor and director, lived here from 1962 to 1964. Now, I always find these plaques really interesting, because, like, Sometimes you look at them, they've only lived there for like a year or two years at the most. So does it really worth, or if he wrote some an amazing play there or did some incredible work there, I can understand, but did he? I think that Harold Pinter did actually write something. Right. Um, it might have been an address on an envelope to somebody else, but he did write yeah. something. Sometimes I think they're, they're desperate for a, for a pack. Because some of the, yeah, Harold Pinter. I think it was in his latter life that right. he retired to the seaside town of Worthing. It's a great, uh, it is a um, great playwright, of course. It's a nice. It's, loose here, it's almost looks like New, or New Orleans. So there we go, a little video down in Worthing with Richard Vogue, the Bald Explorer. Thank you very much for showing me around. I'm really glad if I've been that sea air. Oh, you look so oh, much better for oh, it. I know. You are glowing. All that, all that smog and snot from Sutton. Oh, yes. Oof. Do they still burn coal? They do, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, but thank you very much. Hope you like the video. Please like, subscribe, please leave a comment, especially if you live in Worthing. Yeah, like do. This one. And uh, we'll see you next time. We will. We will. Take care.